Hello my friends and welcome to another Commands and Colors Ancients game. Yeah, we're continuing our uh, journey through ancient history with the help of uh, Commands and Colors Ancients. Really fun. Uh, so we have reached the year 54, or actually we are still in the year 54 more, uh, uh, is more truthfully said, because we played a game or a scenario from that very year, uh, last time, the River Tower, if you remember. Uh, so we are still in this same year, um, and this scenario is named the Foraging Party. So uh, what we have here is uh, the Britons, the, or the Briton tribes uh, in this region um, was unified into a coalition led by Cassivellaunus, uh, the leader that will be, be featured in this battle. And he had uh, given orders to the troops that uh, not to engage too heavily in, in combat with the Romans because they were kind of inferior uh, in, in pitched battles, right? So, uh, so what he promoted was to uh, do these hit and run tactics, kind of the little war or guerrilla war uh, thing, right? So uh, just hit the flanks and all that on, the, on, on Roman columns and then as the Romans try to commit into a battle, just uh, disengage and disappear. So that was the tactics uh, they had, and they were really successfully uh, in that. Uh, even Caesar did admit that. Uh, so um, Caesar to counter this, because it was a big problem for him, uh, because they were, of course, uh, hitting places where the Romans were very, very you know, weak and vulnerable. So uh, a typical uh, target for these uh, attacks were foraging parties. And to counter this, uh, Caesar did increase the size and composition of uh, the foraging parties. So in this very instance that we will see today, uh, he... Um, he promoted a leader, um, I think it was a legate, uh, Gaius, Gaius Trebonius, yes, it's the name of this guy. And I mean, the forging parties were more, you know, kind of light troops, right? Um, typically, but now he added three legions to it and he also added all the cavalry to this forging party. Uh, so it, it made it made it really strong. It said here that this party was actually uh, twenty thousand men strong. So really, it's it's more or less of an, an army, right? Uh, so Cassivellaunus then he he have of course scouted this forging party. He knew it's a, a different uh, style of it than he have seen before, with a lot of heavy infantry in it. I mean, three, three legions is really hefty. But uh, anyway, he ordered to kind of encircle it and do these hit and run attacks. And it said here he went uh, um, uh, uh, I don't know where he said, but he, he kind of, you know, broke his own rules uh, by attacking uh, this large column anyway, but I think Casavellanos was still, you know, he was, um, he, he relied upon the tactics still, right, that uh, that uh, Britons could attack, and as soon as the legionaries would try to engage, uh, the Britons would disengage and disappear into the woods again. Uh, but now, as said, the Romans had all their cavalry with them, so uh, as the Britons attacked, uh, uh, Trebonius, who's located here, he he ordered uh, a kind of counterattacks with the with the cavalry. Probably managed to pin down the Briton troops here and there, and with the help of uh, with the support of the legionaries, uh, they could engage and 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 start uh, destroying uh, Briton. Uh, uh, units and uh, the cavalry continued to charge, and in the end, uh, 
the Britons actually routed from this place and it was a big victory for the Romans uh, and it's also had a, a kind of a wider impact also because it broke up the alliance between the tribes uh, led by Cassivellaunus here so um, and probably many gave up uh, and their resistance against the Romans meaning the Romans and Caesar got uh, a better hold and control of, of, of the region here. That's pretty much what it said here in the in the historical background. Um, so that's we, what we're gonna look at today and you can see this interesting setup here. The Romans are kind of all, almost in a, in, a, in a large square or hedgehog <laughs> formation here but probably it's a column uh, moving I uh, can imagine and um, the Britons attack them from all sides, more or less. Um, so let's check out the War Council. So we have the Britons with the leader Cassivellaunus, five command cards, and they will move first. The Roman army is led by Gaius Trebonius, and they will have six command cards, meaning they will have one extra card in slot A. The victory will be for six banners. We have some special rules. The first one saying the Roman player gains one victory banner per section if there are no Briton units in a section at the end of the Roman player's turn. Um, if a Briton unit moves back to the, into the section, the victory banner is lost. So at the end of uh, any Roman uh, turn, when there are uh, a clean section of Britons, um, they will gain instantly a uh, victory banner by that. But they will lose it as soon as uh, a Briton unit will move back into that section. Then we have the Barbarian Charity uh, rules in effect, and also Marius le uh, Legion's rules, which we have replaced with uh, Julian uh, Legion rules, uh, as it said in the next expansion that we can do that, uh, meaning uh, the Legionaries can actually go to Hexes. Uh, okay, so we have a, a battle now without Caesar and his overpowered, uh, you know, add-on features giving to any unit he's uh, attached to. Uh, so it's going to be interesting. Um, and for, uh, yeah, let's let's check up the setup then before we start uh, the game and, and, and also talk about some tactics. Um, so if we start with the Roman uh, foraging party here, we have three legionary units uh, led by Trebonius in the center. He's flanked by two archers, or light bows, more uh, accurately. Then we have three units of, of auxilia on the, on, the, on the extreme flanks, you could say, and then also in the back. And then we have four units of uh, cavalry here. Uh, and interesting, interestingly, we have uh, two leaders also attached to them. So these guys could punch really hard, actually. Uh, and over on the barbarian side, if we start from the center this time, we have two uh, warrior units flanked by uh, some auxilia over there. On this flank, we have uh, Cassivellaunus himself with a warrior unit, two auxilia, and then a group of uh, cav, you could say. We have two chariots and then uh, some light cav. And this flank is a mirror of that flank. So we have the leader, a nameless one with a warrior auxilia uh, by uh, by two over there and then this cavalry group again so that's the setup uh, so it's a again a mirror uh, like we have seen before um, and we have quite a lot of uh, wood terrain here so uh, there are some stuff to hinder uh, movement here as well and also you can see we have uh, six uh, heal hexes as well in this battle. Um, so for any tactics then, um, well, I will, I mean, the, the Britons will start and they are of course on the attack. So I probably am gonna try what I had tried in the previous battles of, uh, uh, of, 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 uh, of the battles between the, the Britons and uh, Romans, meaning uh, if I get the chance, I will attack some weaker units, uh, maybe these uh, auxiliaria, auxilia in the flanks. They, of course, they have leader support. It's a bit dangerous, but we could, uh, you know, 
get the retreat path blocked. They are though supported. Another thing would be to attack these uh, light bows here, who can though evade. That's the bad thing with them. Um, so, but if you remember, I have done these chariot charges as, as soon as possible previously, but they have pretty much failed. Bad rolls and maybe some bad movement by me, by me, but I might try it again. If we got some center activation, I might charge with a um, warrior's uh, right on from turn one. I could also move up some of the uh, more back troops there. It would be good to have the leaders engaged as soon as possible as well. But we'll see about that. Uh, and for the Romans, we're just gonna wait out and see what how the Britons will open up the game and then react against those with legionaries and hopefully also we can get some cavalry counter charges happening like in history. So that's the, the plan. Uh, so I think by that we are ready to move on to turn one and let me just bring the map a bit closer like that and then can reveal what we have in slot A and B for the Barbarians. We have a double time which would be actually perfect for the for an infantry charge in the center right now. Uh, it could also bring in some troops from one flank. That's interesting as well because we could engage with those on turn one and these guys are also in range for a, for a subsequent turn to attack. Hmm. That could be interesting as well. Let's see, then we have two units left, which could, uh, it means that flank for the Barbarians, which could be of course the charge or the chariots, but it could also be, you know, if we would do a double time turn one and then this turn two, we could continue attacking here on the flank after the first rush in. But uh, that's a cool uh, opening card when you have like, you know, a, a big, charge happening. I see now I have forgotten to bring up my uh, CTG solo die, so I'm gonna fetch that and then we'll start the game. Okay, here we go. So, turn one, Britons. C, D or E, so it won't be any of these two cards then. Okay, let's see what we have here then. We have a light troops, that's for sure, a chariot charge uh, or cavalry charge thing. We have two units right, okay, and we have another right car that's four units right. Uh, but I think I might start with the light troops and, or and order an attack right from the bat. So uh, let's see now, we have five command cards for the barbarians. We can order five units and how could we then charge? I mean, these guys can move three hexes, so I mean, I could hinder these guys from retreating. Um, so I could order both of my chariots getting here. Uh, we would get six dice against uh, both of those units. Yeah, let's do that. I, I, I know it's a, it's a bold move. And I'm not sure I want I won't do this if I were playing against anybody else, but let's do it like this. And I'm gonna, since I have most orders over here, I will also bring up these guys um, for one hex and throw some javelins out from the woods here. These guys can battle when they enter woods. So let's start with that movement. I'm gonna move up there. Then the chariots will go one, two, three. This is blocking the uh, retreat path. And tr three over there. I want to keep these guys to be able to retreat. Uh, ah, I see now, and then blocking my... If I move here, I'm afraid to, you know, these guys will be uh, having no retreat path, so I'm, I wanna go here. So these guys will actually throw the javelins against these guys then. I'm gonna do the same thing here. One, two, three, and one, two, three. 
that's it. And now I hope for some better rolls for the barbarians this time. I'm gonna start with a javelin attack of those guys. Uh, so one die against those, that's a miss. And then let's start from this flank then. So with matter who we start with. Um, it might actually, I think I want to start with these guys. Three dice. Come on, give me some hits now. Um, one hit and a flag which they can ignore. We got a leader symbol as well, but we have no leader support. So they will now battle back with three dice. That's a flag, and I'm pretty much happy with getting that flag. That's a good. Uh, let's see now, they go three hexes back. So this, this guy's gonna go one, two, three up the hill here. That's actually a pretty good result. We hit and run, right? Really historical thing. I like that. So here then, three dice again, and yeah, pretty much same thing. Let's hope for three hits this time then. <laughs> uh, two hits, uh, pretty good. No retreat flags, so they're gonna battle back. So three dice. And this time they hit with one and they caused another retreat. One, two, three. So that's another hit and run, but we managed to cripple these guys pretty heavily. That's cool. Oh, now I should have kept these guys so they could throw the javelins now. That would have been cool. Uh, didn't think of that. Okay, let's go to the other flank. We have these guys attacking here, the other auxilia unit there. Three dice, come on. Yeah, one hit again. And then they're gonna battle back again with leader support. And we have one hit on the chariots and they did not run away this time, which is pretty tough for them because they're gonna get attacked, probably. We have one more attack to do. Again, let's hope for three hits with these dice. Uh, not a single one, only a flag which they can ignore. So, a bit more bad attack on this flank. Now they're gonna battle back again. And let's re-roll that. They could actually die now. Oh, that was a hit actually. So that's that's three hits on, on the chariots. Hold on. May ignore one sword hit, I see now. Um, so actually, this is two hits. They are still... Uh, uh, available for yeah they're still on the, on the map I mean so um, mm. so not good too good of a charge there but this charge was I must say I was pretty happy with that how that turned out okay that was the barbarian turn so let's check the Roman cards in slot A and B then we have inspired left leadership so we could uh, do something over here. We have a rally. We could get back both of these into full strength, which would be pretty good. Then we have three units center, also a good one. So let's see what the Romans can play. That's an A or B. I'm also, I'm actually thinking of doing a rally perhaps. It would be six dice I can roll and greens and leaders would bring back auxilia and they would be also activated. Interesting. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Let's uh, bring them back before they are attacked again by the cavalry. So I'm gonna roll six dice, hoping for greens and leader symbols. So it will be the rally card. Okay, so that's the roll we got two good rolls out of six so we're gonna get back two blocks um i want to give one to this one because i want to activate it and the other one will go here then so they will also activate so these guys will not move they're gonna throw the javelins into the woods with one die hitting the auxilia hiding there 
pretty good roll. And then these guys will attack. We'll try to evade with the chariots, but I'm gonna roll the three dice and hoping for green. Nope, they got away. One, two, three. They are reassembling in the line there. Okay. Pretty cool opening though. Let's go to the next turn of the Britons. A, B or C. That would be a double time. Now we could charge uh, two left or two right. I'm very interested in attacking there. A double time would be pretty cool as well. Um, These guys, you know, move three in the double time. We could get in the auxilia and the warriors attacking. Of course, they can only reach these guys who will evade. That's not too good, but... That could be a cool fight eventually. Another thing would be to do the double time over here. With these four units, we could charge in here. The bad thing, we don't have the leader support with us. Um, Or we order two units from the flanks. I mean, we could hit these guys again with two units. Uh, I think we could get these guys then. Should we do that? Let's do that then. I wait with that double time still. So two units right. And I'm gonna order these guys and these guys. So the auxilia will march down here and these guys will go one, two, three. Another charge. And now I will attack again with uh, chariots first. Three dice. Two hits needed. We got one. And the flag they ignore, so they're gonna battle back with three dice. And this time two hits on the chariots. Ouch. Thanks to the leader back there. But we still have an auxilia that will battle with three dice, hoping for a hit. We got one hit, thanks. Thanks, dice gods, for that. And now we got the first banner. We could go in, but I don't bother to do that. These guys are now in a bad position. They could be countercharged by the Roman cavalry and killed, which would, be, would even out the odds of the, or the, the count of the banners. But let's see now. Um, let's roll for the Romans. A, B, or C. So inspire left leadership, that would be for the cavalry charge. Three right, three center, or a clash of shields. Order all units adjacent to the enemy. Units battle with two additional dice in close combat. Units may not move before combat, but may move momentum advance after successful close combat. If eligible for bonus close combat units battle with a normal number of dice. Okay, I think I might uh, do this because this is a good place to pl play it. We have three adjacent units here now, enemy units. So I'm gonna play that and let's see now. Let's start here. Um, that will be three dice from the start and then two dots from the car. Let's see now, chariots uh, evade may. They can always evade, so I will try that. I'm gonna roll five dice, hoping for a green. The good thing for the barbarians is that since we are evading, they cannot gain ground and go one more and attack once more, but uh, well, this is bad enough. Uh, but no greens, no greens rolled. Amazing, these guys got away once more. Good hit and run tactics there. Okay, the next attack is a bit more shaky because we have only light troops attacking, but you know, we will roll four dice, 
So I'm gonna do it anyway, just because I know these guys are not supported either. So hoping to roll at least one flag with these dice and a green or two. Let's see. No flags, but two hits, which I would say is good enough. Of course, these guys will now battle back with three dice. Let's hope that doesn't hurt too much. It did actually, it was in kind of an exchange, two blocks each. Uh, so a lot of heavy fighting here on the right hand flank. Then we have these guys who will evade, uh, of course. So I'm gonna, sorry, these guys evaded, it's only two hexes, right? So it was here, one, two, it, it, it should be there actually. Uh, okay, here then. Um, who should we attack? Is there... Doesn't matter, it's three dice, whoever I, I choose. I'm gonna take the cavalry, three dice plus the two dice from the card. And these will try to evade. So now we're gonna roll for greens. We got two, eliminating these. They didn't have the time to get away, so they got eliminated. And the victory banner for the Romans. By that. Okay. Well, this was a brisk start of the battle. Okay, so let's back to the to the barbarians then. See what they can come up with now. They have a few units in a really bad shape. Actually, three units with only one block. That's not good for them. D or E, so it will be two right or four right, so it's only right hand units. So, well, I could get behind these guys now with these units and then order some other guys to attack, but I'm a bit afraid. that I will just lose these two in the next turn. So I will exchange these units to two units, which will be more victory banners for the Romans. So maybe we should just retreat away instead. Oh. I'm gonna play the four units right though. And I think I'm gonna retreat back the units now a bit uh, so let's take these guys one two three these guys will go one two back to on, on that hilltop we could send up some uh, let's see how who else we will order um, let's take these guys so I will try to throw some javelins and on these guys I'm gonna order those guys there and these guys Now I'm gonna throw some javelins, so start from here to here, one die. And that's a hit. So if we would hit with these guys as well, we would kill them, or should we try to get the more valuable unit? Hmm. I'll, I'll try to hit these medium heavies. That's a miss. Okay, no banners dealt. Let's go back to the Romans. C, D or E result. So it's three cards we don't know of. Um, four left, we have two units left. We have another two left and two right. Hmm. We could order these two guys, meaning we could destroy that unit. If I mean, we can get in the back of that unit. 
I'm gonna take my chance to do that. So I'm gonna do a cavalry charge and get some bow units in support here. So the cavalry go one, two, and three. And these guys will go here. So we are now blocking these guys from retreating. And then the cavalry will attack. Three dies and lead the support. One flag and it's over. But we didn't. We hit them with two though. But they are refusing to route, even though they are uh, you know uh, having no place to run really. But they will battle back with two dice. A flag, they can ignore it because they have a leader with them. So I'm not gonna take my chances to attack here as well with two dice and we have leader support. And that's one hit. That's enough. So we got the second Roman banner and I'll back back with these guys. Okay. That's interesting. That was actually two units left. Place the card and go back to the Britons. A CDRE for them as well. We have already these two units right, which are over here. Uh, and we have a leadership in this section, interesting. And then we have light troops. Quite a few good uh, ones there. Uh, leadership any section. It would be a unit and three, the leader and three units. Um, Hmm. Okay, these guys are now unsupported. Should we take advantage of that? We could charge them with a warrior. If we take this leader, um, which is Cassivellanus himself, actually. That would be one, two, and then three units. Uh, one, two, three. We could charge with these guys here, throw some javelins, um, and getting these guys a bit closer. Yeah, let's do that. So I'm gonna play the leadership in this section. Order Cassivellanus, and one, two, three units. These guys will now these guys will go up the hill. These guys will charge. These guys. Should we charge these guys? Or help out here maybe? It's only two dice. But maybe if these guys hit hard and but they don't die, we could do the last push with these guys. So let's do it. One, two, three. And then these guys will just march down from that hill. Closing into the battlefield. Okay, so let's see now. Let's start with these guys rolling one die for the attack. I hope I'm not rolling a flag now. I'm even considering not doing it. Uh, no, I will wait with these guys. I won't want those guys to run away. So I'm gonna now... I'm just seeing that if these guys retreat, they will go, of course, there, and these guys will not have, not have any target. This wasn't too good of a... And if I attack here first, they're gonna be dead. Uh, 
I'm gonna take my chances. I attack from here first with a ranged combat. One die. Go for blue. No, that was a green. Okay, I'm gonna take a risk now. I'm gonna attack from the with these guys first. I know this is suicide. I hope I get these are kind of sacrificing themselves. Uh, hoping to get two hits. That would be so so good. Ah oh, crap. No hits at all. So they're gonna die now without doing any good. I, I want to prepare for these charge, you know, so I could charge twice. But I see now it, it didn't go. And these guys are of course dead. Ah, oh, crap. What a bad roll there. So the Romans get their third banner. Now the warriors will charge home. Four dice. And what bad rolls now. Only one hit and no flags. Oh my. Okay, they will battle back. And one hit and two flags. They can ignore one flag because they are full strength. But the other one they will take, so they will go back to the line. What a disastrous attack. Uh, I was really hoping to get that unit now. But that didn't happen. The Romans have a golden opportunity now to get their lines together before any in the next attack coming. You know, we have the double time over here, so we know there are more attacks coming into our line. So let's see what the Romans can do. CD or E. Four on the right. Uh, left, sorry. Two on the right. Or um, I am Spartacus. But we don't want to play the Spartacus card really yet, because we are not really in the reach of doing that heavy damage you want to do. Uh, but two on the right or four on the left. We could continue with these guys. We could attack here. Go back and attack here. We could get even two banners with a bit of luck. So I'm going to play the two... Uh, Four left, actually. Will be these two guys. These guys will just stay. And I'm gonna go one, two, three. Now I'm gonna fire up the hill. I think there's no reduction on dice there, so it's gonna be two dice. Or is there a uh, penalty firing uphill. I need to check that really quick before I continue. Well, it seems that um, hills are no effect in ranged combat, so I'm gonna find my two dice, hoping for a green. No effect. So what I'm gonna do now is because these guys will evade, these guys cannot evade, so I'm gonna charge up the hill first. That will only give me two dice for the cavalry. So I hope I get them by that. You know, it's a green or a sword symbol or a leader symbol, I will kill them. That's a green, so I got him. Getting the fourth banner for the Romans. I'm gonna go up the hill and then go down again and attack here with three dice. Those guys will, will try to uh, evade, but if I get the green, I get them too. Uh, I got two greens there. Good roll for the Romans now. So I'm actually having five to one now. We can gain ground once more, but I will not do that. I'm a bit good in a good position, hidden behind that uh, woods a bit there. I'm happy to be there. So the Romans are doing really, really well now. They are almost, they have almost won the game already. Okay, like in history, I believe. Cavalry was really successful in history. So let's see now. Casivalanos, what can you do? A or B, a double time or two units left? Okay, should we trigger the double time now and, and do it? It's only foot units, right? Yeah. It would be good to have that guy with us. We could, of course, order these three, or we could do these four. The bad thing is we don't get the leader with us. 
we're doing these four, but the good thing is we get four units instead of only, instead of only three, and we can hit these guys again. Um, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Let's be really aggressive now. So these four are activated, and we go here. We go. Here, here, and that guy goes here. He can actually battle. Okay, now we try to get that legionary unit. So we start with the... Let's start with the... Uh, auxilia. Three dice. Uh, two hits. Really good. They will battle back with four. Getting... Two hits on the auxilia and also forcing them to retreat. Then we have this warrior unit, which is not full strength. They will attack with three dice, needing one more hit. Come on. Uh, that's a hit. One legionary unit down. And we get the second victory banner. We will go in. And I will try to get these guys now. I will continue. Three dice. Almost suicide, but we need to do... I mean, we are in such a bad position now. If we just let the Romans play another turn, they will kill one of our units, and it's over. So we try to cripple them as much as we can now. Three dice. And that's a hit. And now an important leader loss check on, on actually Trebonius himself. He's good. He will battle back with four dice. Well, if they get three hits now, it's over. They got two hits. We are still alive. I would have liked to get a, a flag and get away, but at least they didn't kill us. Then we have a full strength uh, charge to do still. Four dice. Come on. And that's three hits. Can you believe it? This is great. This is really going great now. <laughs> this charge. Uh, three hits. That's a victory banner for the barbarians. I mean, this is awesome. And we can now we have an even better chance to get Trebonius. Yeah. Trebonius fell in this unexpected. I mean, this is a tremendous charge they are doing. And we got another banner, so now it's five to four suddenly. And these guys can still gain ground attack again. And now suddenly they don't have any leader support here. So these guys are attacking the flank of that legionary unit with four dice again. Let's hope for a similar amazing roll. Um, well, no more... Uh, Punch there, they have zero hits coming in, and the legionaries, they are standing firm and retaliate and getting in. No leader support, as I said, but one hit, which is bad enough, because they lose that uh, good warrior strength there. Okay, so now I wonder if I dare to... Well, the thing is, though, it's two dice in both directions. We dare to do this. It's a kind of a fight and an even odd, so I'm going to attack here to here with two dice and no hits legionaries retaliate oh two hits good roll by the legionaries there so this is getting really tough but you know I, i'm pretty sure it will end still because now we have i mean this would, would be good if these guys could have retreated I mean, best would be if they could two flags, because then they could retreat all the way to the baseline. But now they are in a difficult position. 
these cavalry are sure keeping an eye on those guys and getting their lines ready to charge like in history but let's see we'll see they need to get the right card for it you know they need to get the center card here the romans cd or e i am spartacus that could do it and two center is also good and two right but i think we can play the spartacus that would be a sparkling end to the battle you know hearing the falling uh trebonius screaming charge to everybody so let's see i'm gonna roll six dice so it's the i am spartacus card we are playing let's see now two heavies we don't have any heavies three mediums and one light so this will do it so let's see now one light that will be these guys for the mediums one two and Three, of course so these guys will attack here one two three these guys will go two they cannot battle but these guys cannot not retreat anymore and these guys will go one two three so now I have three attacks on these guys they cannot retreat and uh, yeah, that should do it right. So who should get the honor to attack first? I think as the cavalry did so well in history, we would, we would give the Roman cavalry the honor. So these guys will attack with three dice, one hit needed. Not yet, not yet. No hits and those guys Battle back with three dice. Getting two hits on the Roman cavalry. Oh. Tight all the way to the end here now. Uh, actually, it would it was only two dice. No, it's three dice. Three dice. So that was correct. Okay, so now I don't dare attack with these units because then if we would battle back and they retreat or something suddenly they have a path to retreat so the auxilia we need to have to, to do the work now killing them so are the three dice coming in one hit needed and now we got it one blue the warriors go down fighting and the romans get their six banner and we have a end result of six to four in this battle all right um well again if we rewind a bit uh we have this initial ch initial uh, charge of the chariots faring pretty good here they did hit and run over here they got entangled with the romans getting uh, a few hits but on the other hand we didn't lose too many units over here we, we did lose one chariot i believe but the other one got away so big things were happening on the left flank and in the center here and but i must say even though it was a desperate thing oh by the way i should have gotten a one more die with the romans i forgot to add that from the spartacus car but ah they didn't need it <laughs> they they were uh, enough of uh, units uh, doing it so maybe we, sh we already did it with the first um, unit here actually if we would have one more die to roll uh perhaps Anyway, uh, I think though it was a desperate thing with the double time charge in the end, but that was cool that they actually managed to kill off that legionary unit and then continue attacking against, uh, against uh, uh, what's the name again, Trebonius, and then uh, killing him with his legionaries there. That was pretty cool actually. Uh, but the Roman force in the center was too strong if they didn't rout because of that, but continued to hack on. Um, we also got some Roman good work here on the flank, uh, getting rid of those, uh, some auxilia and also the uh, both of the chariots were destroyed over here. 
Uh, also, we got that light cavalry. If you remember, we the Romans were able to ride around the flanks and attack them in the rear, uh, giving them no place to um, uh, retreat or evade, and they got hacked down to the man. Um, so yeah, cool one, a quick one. Uh, could perhaps linger on a few turns more if you're more cautious with the uh, with the barbarians. But I thought it would be cool to do a really aggressive attack with them, see how how far we could get. But if you remember, it looked really bad. I think it was five to one in victory banner count for a while. But that big that big charge did suddenly bring them up to five to four. If you remember, that was cool. So they have almost evened out the the banner count in this battle by that. I like that. Anyway, uh, that's it, I believe. Um, so, by this scenario, I think we are ready with the battles over in, Brit uh, in Britain. Uh, I mean, for this time, we will return to Britain uh, in, the, in the Anno Domini years, <laughs> but uh, that will be a later story. Uh, we're not quite ready with... Um, the Gallic Wars yet, I think we have one more scenario to do, but before we reach that, we're gonna travel far, far, far east, uh, and for the Romans, the very infamous battle of Carae, I think that's the next one coming up in uh, chronological order, um, so that would be from, I'm not sure which uh, expansion that belongs to, maybe it's the Imperial Rome, because we have, we should have some cataphracts over there. I'm not sure though, uh, but I think so. Um, so that will be next. Uh, I hope you will join me for that battle, and I also hope you did enjoy this playthrough. Um, so by that, thanks for watching, and see you again. Bye for now.